Barbara is up next at 16 degrees and then I'm going to take it out at 18 degrees before it starts to rain about lunchtime. It's Thursday, September the 22nd and today, very, very important, very good friend of ours here at Galaxy. I'll tell you more about it right after this. Galaxy. Galaxy. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and today we're very, very happy to have everybody anywhere in the world, everywhere in the world tuning in. It is an absolute pleasure to have you. If you haven't done that before, well I tell you what, uh, if you want to watch this a little later on over there on YouTube, well you know what to do. Yes you do. Sub, thumb, bell, yep, bell, notifications, get epileptic with the thumb and become part of the family. You know, literally. Uh, we call it the noise, <clears throat> not the Galaxy Army. That's, um, yeah, you know what I mean. But it is the noise and it is growing exponentially every day. It really is. So subscribe. Be a part of the game. Couldn't get better, really. And today we're talking to Pete Wheeler from the band, of course, Durham County, coming out of Ontario. Good friend of ours. And believe me, it's been a number of months since we've caught up. It's going to be... Uh, you know, what have you been doing since then? I can see that he's uh, built himself a brand new studio, to be very honest with you. But first of all, let me tell you how happy we are to be in association with Rise Up TV. Big record, Sony Music, The Orchard, with Galaxy. Another Indie Artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM. In association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music, The Orchard. Yeah, so uh, nice to have everybody on board. Of course, Dallas Moore is joining us. Nice to have you on board, Dallas. And Tracy Grove is watching as well. Welcome, Tracy. It is an absolute pleasure. Let's get right into it. Let's kick it off with Let's Move. Here's Durham County Band. Move, let's move. Let the knee drop and let's all find that groove. That groove. So that gives us a couple of minutes, my friend. Oh, uh, good. <laughs> oh, good. So what's going on? Anything exciting? Uh, not a lot, really. Uh, I'm a little upset with our rugby team. <laughs> ah, well, you know, they come, they go, they win, they lose. Yeah, yeah, believe me. Oh, Tracy. They, we're not used to the they lose bit. <laughs> um, We've been world uh, champions for too long, you know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I don't follow rugby as much, so I wouldn't know too uh, as much about it, really. Right, right. Well, what is your sport of choice? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you like playing for bullfights. You got it. <laughs> you know what? Um, I like watching some sports. Of, uh, like I don't have a lot of time between my own music. Durham County Band and a few projects that are coming up that I'll talk about maybe a little and uh, and just life in general it's like by the time I get to sit down and watch TV lights out <laughs> you know <laughs> I, I'm kind of the same I, I actually haven't seen TV in about eight nine years physical television uh, I watch everything on the interwebby thing if you know what I mean so yeah uh, yeah Absolutely. It's Absolutely. Yeah. I, I gave up on the local bull. You know what I mean? The propaganda. I do. <clears throat> and I do. how dare somebody else choose what I need to watch? Bugger it, I'll go and find my own entertainment. <laughs> yep. Yep. And then what happens? Click, 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 flip, flip, flip. You're flipping for four hours and you never really watched anything. You said fourteen thousand cat videos and yeah, but you're, you're, you're that much more intelligent about cats. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know so much more about cats and yes. uh, how they, yeah. All, all the best for in to buy. Yeah, I get, I get it. I understand. You know, it's a feline thing if you're into that. Yeah. <laughs> really. Yeah, and I'm always down the rabbit hole. If I click on something, it takes me three or four clicks and I'm into something. Wow. Yeah, believe me. Believe me, I understand that one too. You can get, wow, your missus could come in and find you doing that too. It could be very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Believe well, me. Let's go to the desk, bro. I'm used to geeking out. <laughs> <laughs> 
See one hundred seven FM, and it's a good time to catch up with a good friend of ours. Of course, we're talking to Pete Wheeler from the band Durham County Tape. Well, let's move. Pete, welcome back. Well, how's it going? And not too bad. Not too bad. How about yourself? You look like you're progressing there. I am uh, just chugging away here, having a great old time, pumping out the songs like crazy, and that's kind of where. You know, I've got Durham County Band, and uh, as a band, we do a bunch of different stuff, and uh, that song there is, uh, well, I guess I came out, did you say three months ago? About three months? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, so it's been out for about three months or so, and uh, uh, all these new opportunities are starting to knock because I finished building this beautiful room a while back, and so I'm able to... To produce and record and do everything myself here so I don't have to go run around booking studios and stuff so it's uh, opened up a whole avenue of uh, cool things to, to, uh, that are coming down the line you know of which you're here hey uh, I gotta be honest with you I'm very very jealous to be I'd like a man cave just like that <laughs> hey do you know what just next door like literally through the door is a full 9.2 uh, theater room t uh, like Full Dolby Atmos with a projector, 100-inch screen as well. So when we do videos and stuff, we can just walk over there and listen and uh, watch. Or if we just get tired, we'll just go and play some video games. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Uh, can I get somebody to make me a coffee? My mouth has just gone all dry all of a sudden. It's, uh, this is affecting me. Wow! Loving it. Absolutely loving it. Uh, believe me, Sandy Homer is joining us. Nick Please is watching. Hey, Nick, nice to have you on board, brother man. Uh, Nick is a, with a band coming out of the UK. In fact, out of Leicester, uh, a band called the Hartland Roots Band. And believe me, uh, Pete, absolutely stunning band. They really, really are. And I have a little birdie telling me just maybe they might be signing with a, uh, a label coming out of Canada. Oh, very good. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, that's cool. Yeah, good for you. Yeah, hey, who? But <laughs> how much that little birdie really chirped about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. I really <laughs> do. Uh, but believe me, he, he's a very, very, very cool dude in his own right. And of course, uh, his good mate Pete, uh, he's a cool dude in his own right as well. Uh, the one thing that Pete and I do have in common, I've got to be honest with you, is he likes me and you, a uh, soccer Aww. team, as much as I do. Paul. Oh, there you go. Uh, Paul. Paul, not Pete. Sorry, I'm oh, yeah, Paul. Pete. Yeah. Pete, uh, Pete, Paul, Mary, yeah. you know, all uh, that stuff. Well, the, the, really, the funny thing about Pete, and I've got to be honest with you, uh, sorry, the funny thing about Paul <laughs> is um, back in the day, he's a child actor. He used to be on television, right? I am. Uh, now, do you know the name Chris Tarrant? I do not. Okay, um, he used to be in a uh, TV game show thing where you could phone a friend, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, very famous Englishman on television, and uh, well, you know, used to be very good friends with each other. Very cool. Yeah, it all happens in the big wide world, I tell you. It really oh, does. Yeah, for sure. It's not exactly time well wasted, but um, you know, it's something to talk about at least. Now, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Pete, uh, you're doing a little bit of solo stuff as much as you do with, of course, Durham County, and believe me, I love Durham County. Yeah. Tell me about your uh, solo exploits. Well, there's always those songs that maybe don't fit with a certain vibe that Durham County Band has. Um, the new one, Time While Wasted, is one of those songs that I had written, I'm going to say 2016. 
So it's been sitting around in my hard drive of ideas for a long time, and, and it had been changed around in a few different formats and a few different kind well, not formats, but a few different styles. And uh, was at a party maybe, I don't know, eight months ago, nine months ago, um, and ended up running into Gamble, Gamble the Greedy Grin, who was a friend of a friend, and, and he was just telling me about some of the rapping he's doing and some of the stuff, and I'm like, well, hey, you know, we should maybe see if we can do something sometime. And uh, that was one of those little seeds that was planted, and uh, it, it came to fruition when this song came kind of came back in because I had this hard drive full of demo ideas and stuff and that song popped out and I went oh wait a minute oh wait a minute I had an idea I hear this in my head already and so I kind of put together a nice demo of the song and I, I called him up and I said dude I got this thing I got this thing and I know that you're hip-hop and all that stuff but I, I think you could kill this song you could kill it and uh, He's such a, a, a genuinely cool person and, and easy to talk to. We had a conversation and probably went on for far too long. I sent him the song, and I mean, I think he texted me back. If the song's three minutes and 30 seconds, the demo that I sent him, he texted me back in three minutes and 31 seconds and said, I'm in. <laughs> like, I want to do this. <laughs> so it was cool, and that's the idea was born from that. And uh, he had kind of worked on some different ideas, and he came to the studio here, and he just blew me away. Like, he's such a talent as far as, like, the things that he does and the way that he just fit right into the track. It was one of those things where, you know, just the hair kind of stands up on you, and it's like, in my head I heard something, and you just made it better. You just made it better, dude, and I, you killed me. So it was one of those things where it just went like this, and I'm like, I'll give you two more verses, man. I'm like, let's let's <laughs> let's do this. <laughs> it was cool. Well, I got to be honest with you. We played it a number of times here. Blew up our internet on a number of occasions. It really did. People wanted to know who, what, when, where, how, and when we're doing the interview. It is right now, uh, and believe me. I've got to be honest, it's gaining attraction here at Galaxy. People are starting to really start to identify with it, which is fantastic. It really is. So, here's Pete Wheeler from the Dur Durham County Band and Company. Time well wasted. <laughs> I wasn't joking when I said I needed a coffee, bro. Uh, well, it's, it's morning, isn't it? What time yeah. is it there? It's half past ten. Yeah, you're due for a second cuppa. Yeah, yeah, Heck absolutely. Yeah. Hey, um, do you remember Rolodex? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I was, I was talking to a mate of mine the other day, and his kid comes up and goes, what's Rolodex? And I instantly said, those are the wheels you put on your skates. <laughs> Did he go for it? <laughs> no, he didn't. But I'll tell you what really got us. Uh, we get together on a Sunday to play, uh, you know, some pool and shoot the shit and have some beers and stuff like that, right? Yeah. And there was about four or five of us guys around. Uh, of course, the ladies were in the kitchen doing their thing, as they do. And Franco, my mate's son comes out and joins us. And his son comes toddling out and goes... In the middle of the afternoon goes, Dad, where does poo come from? <laughs> and we stopped dead. We all looked at him and went, mm -hmm. <laughs> you're going to have to answer this one, right? So with great debate and with great understanding, we managed to dumb it down and get it out there so that the kid could understand. I mean, he's only three years of age, right? So we, we went through the whole digestive system, the whole deal, right? And the poor little bugger standing there looking very, very confused. And <laughs> at the end of it, his father says to him, so have you got any questions? And the kid looks at him and goes, and Tigger? <laughs> what? And Tigger? And Tigger? Tigger. Yeah. Tigger. Poo and Tigger. Don't Poo you know and that? Poo and Tigger. <laughs> I got it. I got it. I got it. And Eeyore. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine yeah, how stupid we all that. felt? 
Yeah, that would be one of my answers that I'd probably give too. Yeah. Mm. Going, going down the rabbit hole on that one. Hey, listen, I, I went down to the pub the other day, and I haven't been down for a while. And the barman says to me, you used to come in and play pool and darts with your wife. And I said, yeah, but she's getting blunt. <laughs> he goes, hey, they stole the TV. I says, no wonder you left it where everybody could see it. They're tight. Lock it down. Yeah. <laughs> You know, Pete, it's actually been sneaking into my breakfast show just recently. I've got to be honest with you, so I'm expecting it to pick up a lot more momentum. I'm absolutely loving that. Oh, I'm hoping it will. I mean, the, the big thing is for people to remember that it's it's solo, so you have to look, if you're looking for it anywhere, besides, of course, here, it's Pete Wheeler. So it's Pete Wheeler on Spotify, Pete Wheeler on YouTube, and you can go to Durham County Band website, and it just runs you off. You can click to go to some of the Pete Wheeler stuff, and you can hear the other original, uh, the other uh, solo track, Just Ain't True. You can hear those on all of those different iTunes and all the places. But you've got to look for Pete Wheeler and not for Durham County Band, because it'll be hard to find. <laughs> just a little bit, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, George Prophet is joining us. Nice to have you back, uh, Mr. Prophet. <laughs> Looking forward to uh, hearing your new work in the near future as well. And Nick Plew says, uh, uh, get a decent cup of English Yorkshire tea down you. I'm a coffee guy. I don't drink tea. Barbara is the tea person, literally. And down me? Really? I like we'll have to get her take on it. Yeah, I, I kind of like dry shirts, to be honest with you. I don't want one <laughs> down me, to be honest. Uh, but I get it. I understand. Um, yeah. Believe me, my friend, I am absolutely love, love, loving this. But do we have anything new in the future? Oh, yeah. yes. So much. That song was so much fun to do with uh, Gamble the Greedy Grin. Uh, the greedy and I have been talking and throwing ideas back and forth, so there's definitely going to be a follow-up for that. For you guys, for sure, this is kind of your summer anthem, because you guys are coming into summer right now, and it's really a summertime anthem. That's like that's that's what the song is all about, right? Well, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. We, we even say that we play tomorrow's music today. Yes, you're right. We are coming into summer. In fact, we put our clocks forward uh, Midnight so, Sunday, uh, midnight Saturday night, Sunday morning, something like that. So you know, and surprise, surprise, we've actually got a long weekend this this weekend. The government's bestowed us a free Monday off uh, in commemoration, of course, for the Queen. And what's happened there? And uh, what better uh, thing to do than uh, get wasted? <laughs> Well, it won't be time well wasted. Let's put it that way. It'll be more. Uh, it. Yeah, it'll be more time um, laxing back. To be honest, I, I don't get many days off, and I'm going to make most of this one. I would not waste that free day. I would not. I recommend everybody just uh, you know crack the tunes and uh, do what you do. You never you know? know. You never know. I might go fishing in the dark or something funny like that. You know? Oh yeah. 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 Well, yeah, we got that going on. Um, Bronson's coming in, uh, I think, later next week. Uh, we've got a couple of songs that we've worked with him doing some vocals, and I'm really looking forward to getting those out there under the Durham County Band stuff because his vocals just need to be heard. The guy is just, he's butter. Butter! And it just so happens that all the songs that we put out, in, like when we do it in Durham County, you put the song together and everybody kind of takes a crack and sings it and stuff like that. And then everybody kind of picks who's going who's gonna to do the lead vocal. And so far, most of the ones that have come to the surface have been me. And that's not really what I wanted to happen. But that's what's happened so far. But uh, 
yeah, he's coming in in the next week or so, and we're going to do a couple of tracks and see which one sticks there. And uh, we've been tossing around ideas. Him and I are going to a luthier school, so we're learning how to build guitars together. Um, I've always set up guitars and done all that stuff for friends and myself and stuff, but now we're actually, the pair of us are in there uh, and uh, learning how to do it the right way, which is uh, really kind of cool. <laughs> Now, uh, Philip from Ontario, for, uh, he's saying to me, um, Grant, how do I get hold of Pete uh, if I need to get some work? Give us a plug, Pete. How do, how do we do this? Best place to get a hold of me, DurhamCountyBand.com. Get a hold of me there. There's uh, there's an actual form you can just fill out, but there's a website, uh, the info at Sonica Disturbia. I won't spell that out, but it's right there on the website, and that'll take you directly. You can get... Get a hold of me directly, right through there, for sure, for sure. Now, how the heck did you come up with that name? <laughs> well, it's not very well known, but I worked in uh, uh, film trailers and uh, music for film and TV for many years. Um, that, and I did my own music productions and stuff like that, and, uh, and licensing and stuff for, and sync for film and TV. And... Uh, the kind of music that I was doing at the time was uh, definitely different than this. And when it came to coming to a, a, a finding a name, it was really about, well, what do I do? Well, I, 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 I manipulate sound. I, I, I always work with samples and, and different kinds of sounds and trying to make something that's a little different than what people were doing. So I'd have like this real heavy hard rock kind of thing with an orchestra coming in. And so one thing led to another, and then I don't know exactly where my the cap popped off the top of my head, but it came in. Well, I, I, I disturb the sound waves. I, I change them. I manipulate them. I disturb the sonics. Oh, sonica disturbia. And that's sort of where that came from, is that whole kind of concept of trying to come up with something that's unique and different, and uh, yet has something to do with what it is that I do. <laughs> and that name stuck. So even doing what I'm doing now, it's still Sonic and Disturbia, and the studio is SD Tunes, and my production company is SD Tunes, so it's all kind of under the same umbrella. Yeah, you see, folks, if you see the SD on the door, that explains everything. If you're asking yourself, what is it say for? Bingo, you got it right. Uh, at the same time, of course, heavy rock bands, heavy metal bands, and uh, orchestras, Metallica did that once upon a time, didn't they? Yep, long after I did it. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just full of, you know. Now, I, uh, I couldn't tell you the timeline on that one. Well, uh, Roger Dale Snyder is watching from Jacksonville. Nice to have you on board, Roger. I hope that uh, little incident at the school in Jacksonville was being sorted. I think that was yesterday. Uh, Louise Ludat is joining us as well. Uh, nice to have you on board. But we are unfortunately going to have to wrap this up right now. We do have other things that we've got to do. Unfortunately, we would chat to uh, Pete Wheeler all day about his music if he would uh, let me bore him. But never mind. We're definitely, well, unfortunately, we're constrained by time right now. So we've got to move on. But uh, Pete, so looking forward to catching up with you again in the near future. And looking forward to new music. It's really exciting. I have got, uh, I'm working with a girl named Bria. And we've got uh, two songs that are pretty much finished, and they sound amazing. I'm really stoked to get these out there. So we'll definitely be talking really soon. She's just uh, just a ball of energy and uh, so cool to work with and so talented. It's going to be great to, to get that out there. So the first one's a duet that her and I are going to do. It's going to be, it's under her, but her and I are working on it. And uh, yeah, it's going to be cool. You're going to dig it. Now, tell me, does she come out of New York? <laughs> no. Okay. Um, she's from the States, and uh, she's come back in, in uh, to Canada for one thing after that. It's the same stuff. It's just like when I met a Gamble, I was just at a, a, at a party and a get-together, and one thing leads, and then it's all of a sudden click. And it's the same with her. She knew somebody who knew somebody, and I knew somebody, and it just we got together, and it was so cool because... All of our musical influences just go like this. It's just like um, 
we it's 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 a weird connection of of eclectic kind of different music that makes us click and uh these first few songs are going to be killer and i can't wait to see what the heck we come up with <laughs> later down the road it's going to be so much fun yeah it's really going to be excited it really is uh the reason why i asked if she was out in new york is actually we do have a young lady by the name of Bria that we are promoting here at Galaxy as well. Uh, and it's an unusual name when somebody says that. Well, you know, you don't get too many Brias happening. Yep. Especially in the music it. industry, you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, lucky you. Cool. Lucky you. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I really, really am. Uh, but unfortunately, Pete, we have run out of time. Hang in there. You know what we're going to do next, right? Silly pictures? Yeah, something like that. Either that or we're going to play darts. And it yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Lawn darts. Let's do it. Uh, it is 19 away from 11 o'clock and 16 degrees downtown. Where the man's winning right now? The, no, Barbara's winning right now. Yes. Yeah, Way. Okay. I stand corrected. Thank you. Uh, mine's next at 18 degrees. It's going to get there. Thursday, September the 22nd. Thank you for joining us. Let me tell you how happy we are to be in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record, Sony Music, The Orchard, here with Galaxy. Another Indie Artist Interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music The Orchard.